Well, welcome back to Denver 7 Sports, sponsored by Ramos Law. And put on your pads, buckle your chin straps, and get ready for a wild ride. College football is almost here. In just about three weeks, the Buffs kick off the season at TCU, and the Rams host Washington State. Now, there are some similarities between these two programs. Last year was not good for either one, and they both completely gutted their rosters. CSU has 57 new players. The Rams have 49. But there is nothing similar about the head coaches, Coach Prime and Coach Jay Norvell. Not much in common, except the desire to win and bring their programs back to respectability. Denver 7 sports hacker Nick Rothschild and his dog have more on Coach Jay and the Rams. They, they just work, and uh, there's no drama. <laughs> there is no prime time in Fort Collins. Coach... Dion, whatever is, is uh, you know, he, he brought a lot of excitement. It's nine to five time. It's bring a lunch pail and hard hat time. It's like the 2010s Memphis Grizzlies. For these Rams, it's grind time. We want to build a football program where everybody at CSU is proud. You know, um, the hard nosed team, it's blue collar that goes out and fights every week to win. <laughs> But to get to that level, Coach Jay Norvell had to figure out what was wrong with this jalopy of a program. It's kind of like fixing a car. You never know where the issues are until you open the hood, right? The solution was roster overhaul. 49 new Rams enter CSU as the biggest class in school history and the top-ranked class in the Mountain West. We really feel like we've We've added to this team and this roster. We brought a bunch of kids in that want to do that. Camaraderie, like obviously last year we thought we felt it, um, and then we had half the team leave mid through, midway through the yeah. season, you know. Um, and so just being able to um, offense and defense, know that we have each other's back. Last year it kind of felt like two different teams, offense, defense, and you know now Clay throws a good ball, Tori has a good catch, we're all cheering for him. While Jay Norvell likes the fact that his guys get along, he prefers big players to big personalities. We're a full inch taller at every position. You know, we play a sport where big people beat up on little people. So we like to have size. Length is really important, especially in the offensive line and trying to pass protect. We're a much different looking team. I think we're better at every position. Right, I can explain. This is Hallie. She's three months old, very cute. But why did I bring you on TV? Oh, of course. I go out of my way to care for this little lass. Sort of like how Jay Norvell goes out of his way to care for his team, even when they're being fussy little rapscallions. He's more than just a football coach. He checks up on us uh, outside of football, asks how we're doing with, with our life, family, and that's just something that you need from a head coach. His quote always stuck with me when he said he wants us to leave better men than football players. So that's just something that always stuck with me. There is precedent for the Norvell way working. You know, our first year at Nevada, we won three games. And then we came back the next year and won eight and won our bowl game. So we expect improvement this year. That type of turnaround would be, let's call it optimistic. But where there's a will, there's a J. And this team has plenty of will. I think we know what this team can do, and we just we want to show everyone what we can do. For Denver 7 Sports, I'm Nick Rothschild.